the the uh, answer of praise and I see how she starts to go when she does her praise because she's getting into a realm where it's just her God. I look at Dr. Uh, uh, Sister Elizabeth uh, White here when she begins to sing you t- you tune everything out. If you don't you'll be caught up with everything else. The devil's job is to he's the author of confusion. If he could come in, listen, he's been messing up with the music from the beginning of time. Truly, he was the first worshiper, Lucifer. Mm -hmm. Let's go back. He was the first praiser. He was the first worshiper. His job every day was to do what? Stand before God early in the morning. He had the sound coming out of him. He had the temperance coming out of him. But he gave adoration to God. But he got caught up in himself. And that's what we're doing today. We're getting caught up in self. In praise and worship. We're getting caught up in self. And here, we don't want to give God his true praise. We're so caught up in the how is my note singing and I got a riff and I got a run. It's not about a riff and a run. It's about praising God. Giving him his due praise. Okay, I'm getting, I'm starting to get that preaching tone. I feel myself coming on. I'm going to sit down. But what I'm saying to you, beloved children of God, we need to go back to him. These hymns that are brought our forefathers over tribulation and trials, uh, you sing the song, Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Those are hymns when you get rid of calm down. But there were some hymns when you were going through that only you knew. You knew. Mm-hmm. Mother God, I, you, you know, them, them songs that would help us through. We would, we'd be in the kitchen, so, My God, Lord, even when I see you. And we would get the moaning. The Spirit of the Lord would come in the room. But we've gotten away from that. Grace, mercy, and peace be multiplied to your house. I thank God for this time. I'm sorry, you know, the little time. But God bless you.